Hi there, this is Draco Wing. In the last couple of days, there came some results in from a big tournament in uh, Bologna, uh, Italy. And actually, pretty cool. Um, there was a 484 player event for Modern. It was the main event uh, for the tournament. And um, in the top eight, there was uh, seven different lists, seven different archetypes. And um, one of them was Merfolk which had two representatives, so two Merfolk decks. And just for fun, let's just look at these decks before we just jump into uh, some Modern League action on Moto. I just wanna uh, see here. This is the Twit Longer, the guy sent out here. And Dario Casati, he went with a cool looking list. Um, you have all the regular uh, normal um, two drops, the tricksters, hex catchers. Um, but for the flex spots, he's using two dark hands, three subtleties, still maintaining two adepts. That's a big discussion point. Are you cutting down on silicate adepts? Some are even cutting entirely down. But then two phantasmal images, which is kind of interesting uh, tech, uh, or only one, but, but interesting to run those. And then you can see here two autovirus, which is 11, 12, 20 lands with all four motorballs, four current souls. Sideboard, one Equin Truth. What a crazy guy. For people um, newer to Mayfolk, maybe Equin Truth was something we were doing a lot back in the days. Not as much uh, lately. Return target on a permit and all other permits with the same name as the, uh, that permit to its owner's hands. Basically, um, good against token decks. Um, and of course, we have rhinos running, but there's better things you could be doing, in my opinion. But still, pretty cool, well done. Um, but the other list also, let's see if we can find it here. Here, Mike Bullinguez, sorry for butchering the name, bro. He played with only three caverns, four motorballs, um, but in general, all the, also pretty normal list. But Curse Cassis is the Duck Hand, so I think this is the two one drops that have performed best. Personally, I'm in for the dark hand. Um, three adepts, so still maintaining adepts, three dismembers. Um, and you can see no subtleties in the main deck, but he's running his four force of negation in the main deck. So that's one of the big arguments you can be running. This is a list we are running today. This list from the weekend where CET managed to do a pretty decent run. And actually I found out that um, I'm no stranger to who CET is. It's a Danish player actually. One of my friends uh, told me that this was actually Christopher, uh, Christopher playing the deck, and he um, he played it. But also was s sad. These guys are moto grinders, really well players, and and they took up Murfolk not because they normally play it. Uh, him and Oscar uh, wanted to test it out and 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 play Murfolk at this uh, modern challenge this weekend. Um, but they were both um, just found this list and wanted to run it. But what were um, you know they they missed the silver adapts so. That's a big argument point. But you can argue back and forth against Civic Adapt. This list is not running it, so let's see today if we can uh, make some good results with the alternative, which is spreading seas at the moment. Um, yeah, let's get into the action. We are in a league at the moment, um, and we are 2 1 in the league. Managed to have some really close games, um, but that's, that's pretty cool. And now we are in round four. Today we're listening to some chilled out synthwave. And this hand is kind of awkward, but since we have the hex catchers, we can cast those. I've seen some players going down on the Muda Vaults down to three, which allows for you know more blue sources. We keep this. Let's top deck and either while that would be amazing. <laughs> this is my Alan charts at the moment. I really li like the uh, old school John Evan art. It is pretty nice. Toscanini. What is he revealing? Kahira. So this could be Elementals. Probably is. Probably is Elementals. Okay. 
Let's see what we draw. Let's see what we get here. <clears throat> Always nice to top deck an either vial when you need to. Thank you so much. <laughs> Crossing my fingers. Another card we can play at least. We chose to uh, play our island in the second main phase, important tactic. He didn't crack the Mr. Rainforest, that's interesting. Okay. So, we just pass the turn, see what's happening. So, we got the triumphs running. This is not a good hand against elementals. I think I want to run out the uh, trickster here. Sverdun. This is the card I don't want to run out yet. Simply because I'm afraid of the elementals, but let's just stop by attacking. Leyline Binding, yes, yeah, he can do that, that's fine. Since he played the Leyline Binding here, we are really far away from, from doing anything with this Svealoon uh, Indestructibility, so I think I want to run this out now. If he has one more Leyline Binding, that's how it is, but uh, Solitude can kill it no matter what we do. And he can't lay down binding in his turn because in this turn here he has to do it in his own turn if he has one more. So I think it's fine. And if we draw land, we can double spell. Yeah, it's annoying. Now we really need to draw land so we can both play a threat and kill off the Teferi. Come on. One of the things I really like about the new version is that we're not playing the glass boom mimics because every time I was would be wishing for a land at this moment so I could both attack with Moon of Vault and cast something, I would draw a glass boom mimic. <laughs> and that of course is a glass pool short. You can cast it, but you won't allow it to cast it. Uh, ah, perfect. Moon of Vault. It's a great draw. That's exactly what I wanted. Make sure you right-click, find newly controlled, then you can activate the other one. Now we want to kill off to fairy. Luckily, he didn't have anything here, and we're just gonna pass at this moment. Hold up, Hexcatcher. Primarily, so I don't get furied out. Passes. That's good for us. Okay. So yeah, it's a new version of Footfalls. Draw land here, we can, we can resolve Svea Loon, that would be nice. Perfect. I was then a head catcher up and running. Yeah. 
This one can't be countered. But if he has a late line binding, this is not going to work out that well. It's kind of annoying. But we can actually uh, counter it by sacking two Muta Vaults here. What's the alternative line? We can also do a lot of damage. If he just bounces the Sphere Loom, we got... It's 8.8, 9, 10. I think I'm gonna allow this, right? These motor are way too powerful. Yeah, we can raise this. Yeah, I forgot I should play it. Of course, I can now I can play it here. So this is a big mistake. I forgot I should play the hex catch here. <sighs> that was stupid. That's pretty nice. But that was a big mistake. We could have had one more hex catch out here. Another two ferry. Bouncing the sphere loom. Hitting for eight. How much damage we got then? Notice here. It's eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, plus two more, plus one more Lord. That's exactly lethal. So yeah, we'll allow this and then he bounces the Sphere Loom. Then we can win on the swing back. Of course, he can just have something, but I think we, we have to go for it here. Good. But he can really kill that well here. Yeah, three there and one there. That's actually pretty nice. Okay. This is not good. We lost this. We played it wrong. This is a great uh, new version of the deck. I think we got he got it. So it's gonna yeah, I think we could have won it. We just played it uh, pretty poorly. It's a really nice version, the Crashing Footfalls that are going all in on multicolor. Um, but we saw the Omnath coming in. He did play the Omnath. So he's 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 some something. He's doing an elemental version. 
without the shardless agent. That's pretty crazy tech. Then I need the subtleties, and I think I need the dismembers for Omnath as well. And probably he's only running um, the four violent outbursts. Maybe he's running Ardent Plea instead. That is something sometimes what we see they do. For this bottom, I think we need the Kiras would cut up once we are doom. Um, she's actually not uh, too bad here. Neither a dark hand, but I'll cut one dark hand anyway. Maybe I'll cut one one of the C's instead. Do we really want to run Chalice since it's, we only saw the Vand outburst? He has so much Teferi stuff. I think it's better to get the Force Negation in against Teferi. At least three of those. And then we'll probably cut. Trixie doesn't look amazing. We've got a Spring, spring Scene and Dark Hand. Nah, let's try this. Okay. I will keep the sand. We leave with a tight shaper, and probably we'll play tricks at turn two because he won't be able. He won't do anything here. Now we can also just this unfortunately gives him good fury. But um so maybe we should have done the tricks to play instead. <clears throat> but it doesn't seem like it. Why is he doing it this now? Is he gonna take one more damage? something I can lay line banning this one no he can't he can fury it's fine we can uh, tight tip with that one maybe it's actually better We need size because we need pressure. We should maybe avoid a trickster to avoid the fury play there, but uh, this seems to actually annoy him a lot. And here I think it's better to play the Otavara. Six. We have the trickster for for when he finally resolves the thing there. Okay. Yeah, crashing full force is a thing, so maybe we we'll do this now. More than this. Especially on the draw. I think spending seeds are so slow. Maybe Dark Hand is just better on the draw. To stall them out. Maybe the last fourth negation. 
Let's do it. Mm, I always feel like ooh, <laughs> this is a keeper. <laughs> this is a, kind of risky, but you know, we have a cavern, we have the vial. We need to draw a land in the first couple of turns, but this is the first thing that we see, so we're excited. And you can, of course, just domain bind, land binding it. Oh, it doesn't look good. We didn't draw a land. This is where he land binding it, and we just uh, lose. <laughs> That'd be so bad. That's so crazy they can do that, right? If he finds here, he can find a Triome, and next turn he can just uh, hard cast uh, Sacred Foundry or whatever. <laughs> and then, Little Land Binding. We eat the Vile, and then we draw no lands for 10 turns, and we lose. Okay, Let's see if that's what's gonna happen. Now we really wanted the Force Negation. Ah, perfect. I was afraid there. Land? Okay, not a land, but not the worst card we could draw. Now we can at least protect the uh, either vial or counter to fairy or whatever. Mm. Yeah, look at him go. If he counters, oh, he's stuck on mana. Ah, that's not not good. We stuck on land as well, but we do have an either vial. Okay. We could use some uh, some action. <sighs> ah. We should probably just have put out the hex catcher, so we didn't have to discard. It was a bit too fast. So the trick is now that we put down the f either vial in his turn and put down hex catcher, and in response he's going to do something. He's gonna play out this one, yeah, perfect. And that's fine. He can't get into something we can force. Probably just exile. One hex catcher. Yes, we put down Lord of Lenses. Now I'm out of fury range, but it should have been would have been better just to be do it in response. I was too aggressive putting it down to, to get one more point of damage in. But his fury can only kill one target. He can't really cast a fury that well. But this is much better just to. Okay, put here in hand. Yeah. This way we tick it up so we can get the Kira oven running. Oh, beautiful. We could also, I'm just playing bad here. This is actually much better to do it in response. But okay, we got subtlety and force negation up. How, hard, how, how bad could it go? Exciting. Probably fourth negation at this moment. 
It's gonna come back and bite us. Omnath and Rhino was in the same deck, it's totally crazy. Okay, let's do this. And this is Ward as well. We got all source protections. <sighs> you got the Omnath again now. We bottomed it, okay. Ironclay. This is Iron Walk. So he can resolve Rhinos, but it's not gonna win him the game. Yeah, it's a fairy. Get off the Kira. Yeah, that is not gonna work. Ouch. Lol. And we did it. Hey, buddies. They messed it up. But that's also like double protection all over the place. With Kira and Swerloon and yeah, Kira is amazing. Kira is so great. And I actually played horrible <laughs> in this game. But uh, that it doesn't matter. We managed to pull through. Lorraine, we are testing out today if Civical Edit is worth it or not. I know that people are going down on Civical Adapts. And this list is running zero of them, but now we saw from the tournament results uh, this weekend or th these couple of days from Bologna, two decks running, um, one running two silver apps, one running three silver apps. So it's not dead entirely. Not entirely out there. Okay, we are into round five. Let's get the four one. And I want to mention, of course, we have the sub goal running. When I uh, hit on youtube.com slash C slash Dragoween, hit a thousand subscribers, I will be doing a sideboard guide for Merfolk, a sideboard video guide, I must add. Um, so if you want to know how you should be siding up against, uh, you know, Rhinos, uh, what about uh, this difficult matchup of. Um, Hammer Time, a really strong deck, and uh, what about uh, Milk Tide? Uh, what, what's the plan there? Um, I give my uh, shout out when we hit a thousand subscribers, and I think right now we're actually closing in. I'm gonna check it now. We're closing in on a thousand. We have right now. How is it? Closing in, closing in, but we are getting it up there. 907. 907, so get subscribing. Um, we have Lore saying, I'm on two gil at the moment, so splitting the difference. I think that's a good uh, line. Just two. It's just an, a decent card. We can keep this hand. We don't know anything about the opponent, but we have both early drops and attraction. This is one of the hands where we definitely want to just lead with the tight shipper on one. Yeah, this hand again, smoke side is just great stuff, right? Oh no! Then it should at least be something where he does it on one. 
Yeah, here I would rather want to get the ether vial out. Oh yeah, crack your crack it now. Oh no, he's gonna kill it. He's gonna spell pierce that one. Okay. Ah uh, no. I think I will be running out more Isamaras than. Let's go. We are on all in aggressive aggro plan. That either vial is not gonna do us any good any anyway. Dual mine, okay. Okay, so I think actually we wanna be This is to remove as many mountains as possible. Resources. Yeah, it looks like creativity, I agree. The dwarf mine. So we wanna just keep down on the mountain count. Here comes the uh, um, Kikijiki stuff. Yeah, yeah. And I think, I think uh, against them, I just want to kill off this idiot immediately now. We are on the aggressive. Sources now. He goes to one and plays the icon. Oh no! Yeah, yeah. Straw Lord. Or a trickster. We had a lot of draws here. That's a lord. Let's see if they have the bolt. <laughs> Some say you shouldn't play Burfogus in Acro deck. Some say I'm old and tired. <laughs> I wish all my creativity games go like this. Lorde <laughs> says. <laughs> yeah. That's not the usual uh, usual uh, way it, uh, it goes. I agree with you. Creativity, we like our force negations. We actually also like, I think they have a lot of removal spells. Mm. <laughs> uh, we like, uh, we like uh, the spreading seeds, we got them in there. Um, we like the dismembers, we like the ratchet bombs. I think this is decent. Maybe we consider the Kiras. It's interesting that the um, the deck has become so um, such a big hit, right? It's crazy. It's so popular suddenly. Um, but I think the Kiras are good. Against creativity. Duck hand, probably okay. <laughs> nice mono blue Panzer deck you got there. Cycle says in the chat. Yeah, thank you, man. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, we don't like subtleties. We don't like subtleties. We can take those out. Um, yeah, cut out those. I don't think they. We can expect them not to be doing anything we want to be subtleting. Sometimes they have, of course, Ren 6 and Teferi, but I think I would rather want to um, do something different about that. Um, and we cut the other cards. Maybe we just cut the Dark Hands.
I want to cut one sphere loon maybe, so we just have don't have too many tree drops, and then we can cut. Uh, yeah, let's just cut the dark hands. Tricks score was you also cut the tricksters, but yeah, this hand is fine. A one mana two two is a good magic card. <laughs> They are probably setting out the uh, spell pierce. So let's see if we can draw a needle vial now. We did not. I think in our second round we could consider just using spreading seas immediately. I think that would be pretty nice because we still have force negation to counter something. I don't really want to just throw away my hex catcher. It's great against the. Uh, Indomitable creativity. Yeah, okay, that's something we're gonna force. Force that one. Maybe just pitch the Lord. I think it's not it's not too bad to uh, spring seize this next turn. Um. So I think I just wanna pitch the Lord. And we drew one more. And here I think Spring Seas is just fine. It's okay. We actually, uh, yeah, we drew the Tide Shipper now. So now we can really manage an item. It could have been arguing just to uh, hold up a Hex Catcher instead. Because you can resolve the uh, Fable, but I think this is fine. Could be nice to draw a, a land here. Did not draw a land. I think I want to run out to Svea Doom anyway. My problem is that, of course, he has a chance just to... If he has a red source... I can't... Yeah, okay, he can now. So I think I have to block this, even though it's kind of awkward, but... If he has indominant creativity, he can... Summon it by killing that one, so I think it's fine just to block. Okay, here he persists. Yeah. Yeah, we should have probably just. Uh... Okay, and we wanna be putting away, probably here, wanna trickster. So maybe just put away the tight shaper. I also draw this memory, that would be nice. We do not play the Phantasmal Image, um, but I can see it makes sense in this matchup. Mm, let's pitch the Tide Shaver, I think. Yeah. Dismember? You always remember? We need to draw the member now. You can do this soon. Do it again here. You see, even though we kept the tight here, but we wouldn't be able to do it here unless we drew the land exactly. It's a 
ferry. That's an interesting line. But again, he can cover with Kiki Jiggy. So we need to draw this member. Did not, okay. It's fine. Did not enjoy that. I think, especially because we have Teferi, I really don't favor, um, you know, I don't put uh, Svedun in high regard. The question is if Dokken is better on the play, so we have something to do early. Yeah, I think that, that would be the right line. Uh, Lorde says we could have maybe held up Hex instead of Seas. I think maybe, uh, maybe in that case that would have been better. Okay, let's see if we can get a win here. This hand looks great. We can keep this. Yeah, he's more getting here, but that that was a, a good, a, a great uh, uh, turn place by him. But he got the black source from the, uh, the little token there. So we, if we were able to count, counter the Kikijigi fable stuff, that would have been great. Do all nine on turn one. Now a tight table of springs would be would, would be a, actually a decent draw here. Okay. We draw a master, it's fine. Now I actually just want to draw a land. So I can play Kira. Yeah, so super good, super good. Okay, <clears throat> this is not the worst. We're actually looking pretty, pretty good. And you can see that, boom, smack right in the middle. Pretty nice to see. <sighs> da -da 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 -da. That was great. So we got a 4-1. We got ourselves a 4-1 with this uh, list. This was CET's list. Um, <laughs> with uh, exactly no uh, silver good adapts. Worked out pretty decently, um, but uh, I do still like the <laughs> the Civic Adams. Now, uh, for the next uh, run we're gonna do, we're gonna test out one of the lists that did well in Bologna. Um, so if you're looking on YouTube, uh, check out that video, that'll come up uh, soon. Um, and uh, and for you guys on YouTube, remember Card Hoarder, it's a great service where you can get cards. Um, yeah, so thank you for watching.